people welcome to Costa Rica I'm Alexi Nicole and I'm living my life by design I just got to Costa Rica hours ago drove to my hotel which is like three and a half hours away from the airport and I've just checked into my room and I am literally obsessed it's rainy season here in Costa Rica so it's raining but that cannot stop my door the room right is now. gorgeous I will definitely have to give y'all a full room tour a little later, but I'm hungry. And as soon as I got here, I made a reservation um, for dinner for six o'clock. It's 5.50 now. So I'm gonna grab my raincoat because I came prepared and make my way down to the restaurant. And I'm solo, yes. Another solo trip. All right, y'all. Day slash night number one. This is the view from the restaurant. Oh, I'm itching. I need to put on some bug spray. I've been having like all the mosquito bites. And this is the restaurant, y'all. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Child, y'all know I'm used to Texas and everything being oversized. But this is good. It's gonna keep my little stomach small while I'm here. So we got um, steak and scallops. It looks like it's on the bed of, I don't know what this is. Let's taste it real quick. We got some mashed potatoes and asparagus. Dinner was excellent, like excellent. Y'all, I am just still in awe of this room. Like, can you just imagine when I wake up in the morning and then it's just gonna be nothing but plush forest outside oh i cannot wait uh, this hotel room is like the size of my apartment literally i think it's like right about 900 square feet and my apartment is a little less than a thousand this could like if this was like an efficiency apartment what <laughs> it is so nice it is so nice so nice the name of this hotel, before I forget to tell y'all, it's called Makanda by the Sea. Makanda by the Sea. So, um, yeah. If you come to Costa Rica, I ain't gonna lie, it, it's not, it ain't cheap. But, uh, you know, a little birthday, a little birthday splurge. <laughs> y'all, I should definitely be sleeping right now. I'm not. The sound of the rain is just like, I'm just so excited to be here. I just booked a tour for tomorrow. Um, close by, nothing too crazy. I mean, I booked this hotel with the intent of just really staying here and relaxing the first half of the trip. And then the second half of the trip, I'll be moving a lot. So let me just kind of tell y'all what my... Um, oh, y'all, I still got mosquito bites from Houston, Texas, and they are killing me. So the first three nights I'm here, right now I'm in Manuel Antonio or Quipos, or there's another P word, Punta, Punta Renes. I don't know, but that's where I'm at right now. I already told y'all the name of the hotel. This hotel is called Baconda by the Sea. It is a luxury, <laughs> luxury boutique hotel. So I'm staying here Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. Um, Wednesday is my birthday, so Wednesday I leave here, I check out of here, and then I drive about an hour away to um, Jaco. I keep saying Jaco because it's spelled J-A-C-O, but I think it's pronounced Jaco. And then I got an Airbnb there, a lot cheaper than this hotel, okay? <laughs> um, and then I'm there in Jaco for one night. Hako is more like a beach town. Uh, you know, I, I keep hearing it's like really good for surfing and things like that. That's not really me. Um, I think it's more of a party town too. So I was like, okay, one night or one day there, I should be able to, you know, see everything that I need to see there. Maybe do a tour of that area. And then I move on the next day to La Fortuna. Right? I don't even know. It's written down. My mother has my itinerary. She has everything because she's like, where are you going? Wait, 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 wait. I need to know where you are. Like a good mother should. Um, on my finger. 
Um, yes, yeah, so La Fortuna, I, and I know I'm probably not pronouncing that right either. It's like La Fortuna slash Ar Arenal, and I think that's where the volcanoes and things like that are. So I'm gonna check out the next day, drive that way. Um, booked another Airbnb there. It's, um, that one actually looks really nice though. Um, these Airbnbs are like a hundred dollars a night, which I, I really could have found some that were like cheaper. Um, but I also just wanted to make sure because I'm alone. So my mother doesn't believe I'm alone. I'm alone. Um, cause I know she's going to watch this. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to make sure that I was still in areas that was surrounded by people and not nowhere just ducked off in an Airbnb by myself solo, you know, like, you know, just trying to be a smart solo traveler. Um, so yeah, so then we stay in La Fortuna for one night, um, from the third to the fourth and then check out of there the next day we head to oh guan costa so this is taking me back closer to um liberia costa rica so i flew into san jose this morning or this afternoon um, and i'm flying out of liberia so i'm just kind of going down the central side coastline and stopping at like the most I guess touristy popular destinations of this side of Costa Rica so if you don't really know much about Costa Rica and I don't really know much about Costa Rica we're going to be learning together um there's the central side and then there's the Caribbean side most people I believe most tourists come to the central side because it just has a you know I guess a lot more sightseeing and, and different things you can do maybe one day I'll come back and go visit the Caribbean side but I'm just like I've, I've been Caribbean in my whole life. I know what that's like. So definitely want us to give this a try. Um, but yeah, so then we stay at this Airbnb. And this one is actually like, I think it's like a little, it's it's like, it's a hostel, but it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all how the rooms are. I'll just show y'all when we get there. Um, and then the next, yeah. And then I, yeah, so that's the fourth to the fifth. And then my flight leaves on the 5th, like around, I think, 2 p.m. or something like that. So I'll probably just check out early and leave. I don't really, I don't know, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm just really, like, I feel like a big girl. Like, when I went to Tulum solo last year by myself, I was still definitely a big girl. Because I was still solo. But I wasn't necessarily doing as much driving and adventuring right so this one really did have me a little nervous but what do i do with that hair tie um but i'm excited to do it anyways i'm about to go take a shower and just get in this bed that's waiting for me i can't i just cannot wait to wake up in the morning and see this view like i know it's gonna be amazing i know it's gonna be amazing up in the morning good people I knew it was gonna be so pretty. Look at it, y'all. And I didn't sleep with the light on, I just turned it on. <laughs> Not weird like that, but look. Ugh. It is like 6 a.m. Costa Rica is an hour behind central time, so it's 7 a.m. back at home. I'm about to order some breakfast. Well, yeah, food and wine. Uh, or, oh, I need to go look at the website and get me some breakfast. And then, um, I was thinking I was going to go chill in the pool for a little bit, maybe before uh, my excursion starts. So, I got the camera all twisted. We'll see. Um, I just... Honestly, I don't want to leave this room because it's amazing. It's literally just, ugh, ugh. So good, so good, so good. Look, this is, I thought it was like a full menu, but it's just telling me where to go. Our ball restaurant, A-R-B-O-L, rest, 
restaurant last night. Oh, I showed y'all what I had last night. The, oh, I can hear like the monkeys fighting or something. <laughs> they tell you time and time again here not to like feed the animals <laughs> and make sure like if you're not like on the patio to keep the room door closed because the monkeys will come in. <laughs> I saw the monkey yesterday. We were having a stare off. A little white faced monkey and his homeboys. I was like, don't you come in here. The guy was like, they're not they're not aggressive, they're not dangerous, they're just looking for like food and sweets. And I was like, okay, good. Alright, let me look at this menu and we'll see what I get ordered. Okay, y'all. I've decided to leave the room to go get breakfast instead. No, just get out here in the in the nature. So I'm gonna go to the little restaurant by the pool and eat out there. And then at it's 7:46 right now. And then at noon, my um my tour guide is going to come pick me up from here we're gonna go on the tour i was like oh thank god please come get me because i don't want to drive <laughs> like i do not want to drive okay so y'all this is breakfast by the pool this morning so nice so nice when i get back from my excursion today <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be hopping in this pool happy hours from four to six. This is not an all-inclusive hotel at all. Um, but happy hours from four to six. Um, I'm supposed to be back from my tour like right around four, so it should be just enough time for me to enjoy the pool, have a little sippy sip, and here comes my mimosa. <laughs> okay, we have fresh fruit, mimosa, Fiji water, I have a plate, but it's just me, so I'm gonna eat right off of here. What do we have? Pineapple, mangoes, watermelon, and what is this, papaya? Oh, yes. So I got the traditional Costa Rica breakfast. Fried eggs. I asked for them to add some chorizo, rice and beans, plantain, avocado, cheese, and tortillas. Yummy. Hello vlog. So I'm at, it's called National Park Manuel Antonio, right? Yes, ma'am. National Park Manuel Antonio. I'm with Manuel. <laughs> He's my tour guide. I'll leave every link and all of that down below. Um, and yeah, we're just walking through the park and taking a look at all the, the animals. Wow. So these are the leaf cutters. Mm -hmm. And they take the fragments to their nest chop them down into a paste to cultivate mushrooms. Then they eat the mushrooms. Wow. Oh my yeah, god. That is so cool. Right there. Look at that. Oh my god. So, so frogs, wait, tell me how that gets there again. Baby frogs. Baby, so all the little, little itty bitty things in the jelly sack. Mm-hmm, are tiny glass frogs. And they're called glass because they're, when they're adults, the underside is actually uh, translucent, the skin mm -hmm. that you can see their heart. So is that like the egg that the mother frog That's laid? the egg, so yeah. That's the actual are, egg. Yeah, those are the eggs. So it comes out like that? In a, in a jelly. With just a whole bunch of tadpoles? A whole okay. bunch of tadpoles for about 10 days or more. Wow. Here, I mean, we cannot see him. Mm-hmm. What kind of rodent? We call him agouti. A-G-O-U-T-I. A Aguti or aguti, and with his back legs, he's hitting the ground, advertising that there's a snake. 
Oh. It's probably a little snake, a viper, or maybe even a big old boa constrictor somewhere around. Uh -uh. And he's marking and telling the others in the neighborhood the presence of an enemy. It's very simple. We see that every time. So we're not the enemy. The snake is the enemy. The snake is the enemy. We are friendly. <laughs> now this is awesome. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Okay. Okay. So we got a very spiky palm tree. A very yes. Super spiky. And trying to climb that will be like hogging a porcupine. <laughs> and nobody does it. You can be very acrobatic, but you can't do it. That that way the palm tree guarantees that the seeds up there mm -hmm. will reach to the right maturity mm -hmm. and the germination is gonna be complete. When the fruit is ready, it's gonna fall naturally and then you're welcome to eat and disperse the seed somewhere else because the tree cannot walk. Of course. 99.9 .9 of the trees cannot walk. <laughs> we have a tree. Where's what tree walk. can walk? Over uh, here in Costa Rica, it's called walking palms. They move like a couple of feet a year. They, they keep growing roots in the direction they want to move according to the sun and with disposition of water. And they're called like that. They're not walking, but the, we call yeah. them walking palms. Cool. So the whole base of the tree Move. moves. The, the tree trunk is not touching the ground. Oh. It's on like a stilt roots. So yeah, it hits that way. It has roots there. If you want to go in that direction, roots in that direction, and the whole thing moves. Wow. And they do it a couple feet a year, or maybe. I can't see it from here. They're just looking straight inside. Got to be against the base of the tree. But it could be a viper, or it could be a. Show your head. Turn around. Yellow throated toucan. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. And his beak looks so smooth. Mm -hmm. Hey. So he has a little bit of was that red? Mm -hmm. Red, a little bit of white. Yellow throated toucan. Wow. Like, what are they doing? They're they eat, they eat mosquitoes. We like them. Oh, yes. Yeah, they eat bugs, mosquitoes. I need one of those in Houston. Mm -hmm. Right now, they're just roosting, sleeping. Are they nocturnal like all other bats? Yeah, nocturnal. Uh -huh. We're on the hunt to find a sloth, y'all. We saw one, but he was sleeping. So I couldn't see his little face. He was up in the tree all curled up. Like Aspen and Denver be curled up. <laughs> oh, it feels so good out here. A little humid, but still really nice. Ice cream break, y'all. What did you get? Espresso. Espresso. <laughs> Manuel's been up all day. Very strong. He need a little energy boost. In Costa Rica, we love coffee. In Costa Rica, you love coffee? We Everyone love coffee. loves coffee. Everybody loves coffee. I think I'm the only person that does not like coffee. I like tea. And just FYI, y'all, they are wearing masks here in Costa Rica. So I just went in there and I had to put my mask on. You know, employees and workers and everywhere still wearing masks, mm -hmm. but we're allowed to take it off while we're here in the park. So, just in case you're wondering. Excuse me. And I'm vaccinated. Yeah, man. Okay. Right behind that big sun. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. From the right. Love a British accent. Love it.
Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Why do they move slow though? Like, what is the reason? It's slow metabolism. Really? Yeah. The digest is slow. Sleep. Everything. Very low diet, you know. We found a sloth, y'all, clearly. Look at it. And it's just hanging on. I wonder how long it took them to get up there. Mm. Look at this cloth. Yes, yeah, so is it this a two toe? Three toe. Oh, three toe. Yeah, look at those. They have three large ones. Oh my god. Let me see your little face. And they just eat leaves. Just leaves. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting my up close and personal look at the sloth. He's just eating away. It looks like he's chewing fast though. <laughs> I just asked Manuel how sloths have sex. Like, is it super slow? <laughs> he said yes. And then he said, how do porcupines have sex? Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, that's enough of that. Backwards. <laughs> y'all, the sloth is all the way up there. Y'all can't tell from the other. But he's where my finger is. That's right where he is. Oh, no, sorry. Over here. <laughs> Nicely refreshed. So the tour is complete, y'all. Say thank you to Manuel. <laughs> got all the good sightings and the sloth okay y'all it's right about four o'clock i'm thinking do i want to go just down to the pool i do i've had on my swimsuit i didn't really want to get in the beach water because i just didn't feel like dealing with sand but i could go down here and just relax a little bit and then head back to the room and take a shower i think that sounds like a good plan Y'all, Alex had just made me the nicest little passion fruit drink. And there's one of them little white faced monkeys up here in the trees somewhere. And he literally threw something in my drink. <laughs> like he was throwing stuff at me. <sighs> Anyways, this pool feels amazing. Um, I ordered a different drink. He was out of the passion fruit stuff. So I got something different, but whatever. Um, I'm still thinking I'm gonna cut these braids up out my hair tonight because I'm I'm just over them. Everybody's like they're so cute, yeah, but I miss I just I don't like all the hair. I want my locks back. <laughs> uh, look at this. It's so nice out here. Oh, goodness. Hello. Excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome, Pura Vida. <laughs> sip, sip, sip. Ah. Spill, spill, spill. <laughs> straw, straw, straw. <laughs> I think that's gonna be my last one for the day. I'm not really trying to get like two turns while I'm here. I just wanna have a nice little, a nice little relaxation of the buzz. That's it. Y'all, I was literally just about to hop in the shower and then order me some room service, but I was at um, the check-in area, whatever, over there talking to Esteban. I'm gonna schedule a massage in a ginger and honey wrap or something tomorrow because tomorrow's just my relaxation day. And I was telling him that Wednesday is my birthday and he was like, oh, that's wonderful. And then look, they just delivered me <laughs> a bottle of, what is it? Ooh, don't break the glass, girl. Um, I, I put on my raincoat because I was literally getting in the shower. Uh, a bottle of Prosecco. He's like singing happy birthday at the door. I was like, oh, that is, I don't want to leave here, y'all. Like, I don't want to leave. So I'm like, should I get in my jacuzzi out here and just sip a glass of Prosecco? It's dark, though, but I don't know if y'all can even, y'all can't even see it. It's so dark. I don't think there's lights out here. Um, 
just kind of chill in there and drink a glass of Prosecco for a second and then take a shower. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This place, home, it's home. <laughs> Room service has arrived, y'all. Oi. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, okay. It's saran wrapped because, you know, of course, they carry it from the kitchen to the room and it's outdoors. So I'm not mad at that. So I got fried snapper with the head. Um, they have some fried plantain and salad, and I'm drinking my Prosecco. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is June 1st. The best month of the year has arrived. It is 9.50 in the a.m. And y'all, oh, well, first of all, I took them braids out last night. <laughs> I literally woke up in the middle of the night. Just, I couldn't get comfortable. So I got them scissors. Mm, that orange juice is fresh. I got those scissors and I snipped one braid and I was like, oh, it's done. I'm gonna take them things out. It was like three o'clock in the morning when I took those braids out, y'all. They were just they were just heavy and bulky. But yesterday when I was in the pool, um of course when they got wet, it just made my head feel so heavy. And I was just like, I'm not about that life. I'm not just trying to be cute and uncomfortable, you know, like I'm still cute without them, whatever. I love my, I love my locks, so here we are. So anyways, I'm eating breakfast. I got pancakes and fruit. Let me show you. Pancakes, fruits. Yeah, I was just, I just, well, I had quite a bit to drink yesterday too, so. I was just feeling real lethargic this morning. And that's probably just because I woke up in the middle of the night and um, I had a little beverage in my system. <laughs> so, it's almost 10 o'clock. My spa starts at 11.15 or something like that today for about two hours. And then I'm just gonna chill out and relax at the hotel today. That's it. Mm hmm I'm gonna enjoy my food. Good morning. Good morning. My chariot awaits. Here we are. Here we go. All right. Spa time. I just, I love this little golf cart. been down this way Just driving this thing. <laughs> Thank you guys. Very welcome. This is a spa, y'all. That's the entrance. But look at this view. Oh God, it looks so nice. Here's the room, y'all. Two tables. So if you want to do a couple's massage, they have that set up. That view is still breathtaking. 
this is the restroom. This is me. Looking like a snack. <laughs> Massage. Well, first of all, that exfoliation scrub was amazing. Like, my body, my skin felt so soft. Feels, feels so soft and then I did a lymphatic massage let me google it hold on yeah so the first thing was the ginger and honey exfoliation I've been telling myself that I wanted to start doing like body scrubs in the shower and stuff I'm like I just take regular showers and soap um, because I'm, I'm honestly like really sensitive to just scented things but after doing that ginger and honey scrub and how my skin felt, uh, I'm gonna get one of those little gloves that, you know, whatever, body scrubs. And I'm gonna start at least trying to scrub my entire body once a week, because if I'm gonna feel like that, I need that. And then I did the lymphatic drainage massage. Um, and that's just supposed to help like, you know, release all the toxins and stuff out of your body. Um, and that felt really good too. Like he was squeezing like this, like on my toes and fingertips. And ugh, ugh, it felt amazing, y'all. Amazing. <laughs> uh, so now it's lunchtime. I'm gonna have me some pasta. And then I'm gonna come back out here and um, probably chill by the pool. It's still early, it's 1.35. I'm kind of like, maybe I should have did an activity today. <laughs> but whatever I'll just chill so I got the seafood soup with coconut milk it smells delicious got shrimp in here got a little crab what is this looks like octopus maybe goodness Pure Avina, everybody. Welcome to my hotel room. I am staying at the Makanda by the Sea in Costa Rica. Let's go inside my Pacific Jacuzzi suite. So fabulous. It's so fabulous. In the right place to move. In the right place for you. Always stay up all night. Neon light Got your ones like on numb So that's it it's a quick tour the room is beautiful if you ever choose to come to costa rica this hotel is in manuel antonio cuerpos i think is the name of the county um it's called maconda by the sea y'all now i'm about to go change out of this get into a swimsuit and go relax by the pool made it back out to the pool y'all it's um warm warm 
put on my sunscreen and my bug repellent. These belonged to my father, these shades, so I'm gonna rock those today. And yeah, we're just relaxing, looking at the view of the ocean. Probably gonna give me a pina colada here and just chill for a while. I, y'all, I made friends at the pool. We're about to go to dinner. I'm running late. I need to text them. <sighs> and I had one too many drinks. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I'm on vacation. I'm not driving. We're going to get a taxi. So it's all good. It's all good. Mm. Oh, hey, sloppy. Oh, no, 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 wait, is it not going to get electrocuted? <laughs> Are you gonna cry? <laughs> Aww, it's a little one. <laughs> hey, Sloppy. Oh, look at it. Good morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> I've been up ugh, since like four and I'm annoyed with that. But, oh, uh, just, uh, let's just take that in for a second. One more time. Mm, uh, it is now like 6.20. I need to get up pack up my bags, go have breakfast, and then hit the road. <sighs> Excuse me. I was trying to leave by like eight, so I really, I really gotta get up. But of course, now I'm getting like sleepy again. But no time for that. We have waterfalls to go hike. Mm. Good morning. This watermelon juice is so good. I need to find out how to make it. I mean, do they just blend juice the watermelon? Like, it tastes so good. It's my last morning. It's my last morning at Makanda by the Sea. Gonna enjoy my breakfast. Take in the last bit of these views. I really feel like I'm gonna come back here one day in life because it's amazing, amazing. All right, y'all, we are on the road to Hako. Um, whew, I just had a moment, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, we are on the road to Hako. It's, I have like another 50 minutes as far as driving and then I'm gonna get there early, but I'd rather be early and have time to like get lost <laughs> if I end up getting lost than being late and missing my tour. So it's it's really pretty outside, no rain. Y'all can see through the windows. Uh, Costa Rica is just amazingly beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> All right, we're here. This reminds me so much of Cuba when we started the waterfall hike there or where we ended it, I don't remember, but it's giving me that same exact vibe, y'all. Me. Other other people on the tour with me. Let's go. So we're supposed to see a total of ten waterfalls. This is the first one. Oh, that yeah, that's a good one. I'm trying to find me a, a walking stick, y'all. Let's see. Oh, that's a big girl. Yeah. Made it to the first waterfall, y'all. <laughs> the eyelashes look crazy. It's nice. And it's cold. Oh. Alright, we got number three, y'all. Number th is that four? Or is this all three? Just three. Okay. Great. Here's somebody drew little mushrooms. And then over there is a frog. And waterfall number four. All right. Yeah. Gonna do a little climb, climb. All right, waterfall number six, I think. 
Waterfall number, what number is this? Eight? I picked it up more than that. I got him. You got it? Woo. You got it? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> number 10, y'all. There's a beast to get here. Look, look, look. That one was a little steep to get to number 10. And then that's the exit sign. <laughs> Lunch after the hike with my new friends. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> so I just went in there and got my COVID test done. I should have my results by tomorrow, and then it should be negative. <laughs> I hop on the flight to Houston Saturday. Now I'm off to go check into my Airbnb finally because I'm tired. I need to wash my body off and take a nap. Made it to the Airbnb, y'all. There's my car. There's a little pool down here. And then there's like four units. And here is mine. They're industrial lofts. It smells really good as you walk in. We got the brick walls. It's really cool. Kitchen, sitting area, my big old luggage. I love this. Shower, which I'm about to hop in right now. And then here is the bedroom. Very doable, very comfortable looking. I'm pleased. I'm very happy with this Airbnb. It's nice. Those nice gentlemen that I met on the tour, one of them lives in Houston. So me and him were chatting it up quite a bit. The other two live in Atlanta. They have a house like 10 minutes away, an Airbnb. Um, and they invited me over later. They said they were gonna barbecue and cook and stuff. So I was like, oh, I could do that. A girl can always eat. Um, they were really nice guys. So but first, shower and a nap because, whoo, that hike. Huh. <laughs>